you can see here I've made a ring. I made that by taking a pair of stitches here and flipping them to the right. And over here I took a pair of stitches. I have to actually can't flip my finger the other way and flipping it that way. In other words, a pair crossed to the right, a pair crossed to the left. Then you knit a plain round and then this pair moves to the left and this one moves to the right. And so it's easy to do, you'll be glad to know. I've done another plain round, so it's time to do a right cross. It's called a cross because um, this stitch will cross over here to the right. Now watch how we do this. It's rather delightfully easy. You have to go in through the second stitch and the first one, like that, Take them off the needle. Notice there's still, I haven't gotten any crossing yet. They're still aimed in the right dire same direction. They're just on this needle. But now, ha, 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 all you have to do is rotate that needle, and they have no choice but to now be switched. It's kind of a magical thing. Now when I put them back on, let's have a look at them. They are indeed switched. And notice how this is sitting on the needle. Change the mount the way it sits on the needle. So to keep the stitch from being twisted, we have to go in the back. Not like that. So you have to remember, you're going to now knit these two through the back because you've changed their mount. There, that one's done. Don't worry, we'll do it again. You'll get to see it again. But now let's do the left cross. This one's done differently. We go into the back of the second one and pull the yarn through. We're knitting that one through the back before it is even up front. It went out of turn. Now we knit the first one as if though nothing strange has happened behind its back. And what do we have? We have a right cross and a left cross. Here we are. Now in order to make a ring, we want this one to go to the left and that one will go to the right. So remember, to go to the left, we don't do the switcheroo thing. Instead, we just work out of turn. So I'm going to knit this one, the second one, through the back. And the first one, as if though nothing strange is happening behind its back, which it is. And that has rotated that that way. And now we get to have the one that I consider the most exciting, where we're going to make a right cross. We go through the second one, then the first one, lift them off the needle, and just basically here we're like scissors, here we are like a clothesline. Once you're like a clothesline, you put it back on the needle. And remember, you're going to knit them through the back because they change, change the mount, that little nifty thing you did. And there you are. We have made another ring. We now have two rings. And that's all there is to it.